of sight. Now if that doesn't brighten up a, a midwinter's day, I doesn't I don't know what will. Uh, I'm not sure what species they are. I must say that fungi is not my real strong point. They could mm, they could be velvet shank, which uh, which I, I believe are quite common in the in the uh, in the winter months. But what what a what a display! They're fa fantastic. This is bright, vibrant colour in in the middle in the middle of winter. It's just fantastic sight to see. And uh, I know what I would like to do with these is um, see if we can get a photo of a hedgehog or um, a wood mouse in front of this fantastic display. It'd, it'd make for a really nice image, I think. Um, I'm on the main path here, so I'll have to move this if I'm going to set my camera trap up. I'm, I'd like to I'd like to move the branch up a bit further away from the path, just for security reasons for my equipment. But um, yeah, I, there's an area not too far over that way where I've been feeding the hedgehogs for a while, and despite it being the middle of winter, um, they're still appearing in front of the trail camera most nights so uh, we'll set this up over there and we'll get the uh, camera trap set up and we'll see if we can get some nice images It. Everything's firing, everything's set up. I'm at, uh, I've got the lens set to about 18 mil, so a nice, nice wide angle shot. Um, my shutter speed is 1 one sixtieth. I'm at f9, ISO 400, and uh, I've got two flashes. I've got this is the main flash, this is set to 132, 132nd power. And I've got one set on the tree, just near where you are, where the camera is. As a bit of a backlight, that's also set on 132nd power. Uh, but it's it's about twi twice the distance away from the main flash, so uh, it'll just be a little bit lower. So uh, I think that's it. That's all. All seems to be firing fine. That's it. All working fine. So get it covered up. I'll just put a little bit of bait down. For the hedgehogs it still amazes me that they're still showing up on even though it's the last week of December we're right in the middle of winter and they're still showing up on the trail cameras at night it just goes to show how mild the winter's been uh, that they're not yet into hibernation so uh, hopefully we'll get a nice a nice image of them tonight um, if not maybe maybe the wood mice may be a little more obliging so uh, I don't, I don't mind what, what we get really, anything's a bonus. So uh, we'll get it all covered up and uh, we'll come back in the morning and see, see what we've got.
my lens. Lens a bit messed it up. It's probably first thing this morning. No, that's that looks like yeah, that's my neighbour's cat. Oh, there we go, the hedgehog's been. There we are. Oops. Oh, very good. Oh, very good. Yeah, we've got three images. There we are. Got three Im three images of the hedgehog. Very good. Now we'll get them on the computer at home now and have a look what they like. Well, there you go, hedgehogs in December. It's not a subject that we'd be expecting to photograph at this time of year. And as an added bonus, we only had to leave the camera out just for one night to get a few images. I hope you enjoyed watching along, and as always, if you have any questions regarding camera trapping, please feel free to ask in the comments below, and I'll do the, my best to answer them for you. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.